December 7th, 1941, I was coming out of lunch at the White House with a great number of guests who had been with us over the weekend. And so it was a little while before I was free to go and talk to my husband. And by that time, chiefs of the Army and the Navy and the Air Force and everyone was there. And so I had to be content to wait uh, until really late in the afternoon or early evening. And um, when I did go in, I thought him looking very strained and tired. But he was completely calm. His reaction to any great event was always to be calm. If it was something that was bad, he just became almost like an iceberg, and there was never the slightest emotion that was allowed to show. While I was very conscious of his tremendous strain, the first thing I noticed was this deadly calm. And then, almost the first thing he said to me was with great bitterness and anger that actually he had hardly finished talking to the Japanese envoys when this was being done in Pearl Harbor. Beyond that, I had a sense that bad though the news was, and horrible as it was to face, that he was on the whole almost relieved to know the worst that had to be faced and that this country could eventually meet it. And this kind of, of uh, feeling was something one always expected of him. I have never known him not to be ready to face the worst that could happen, but always to be hopeful about the solution that could be found.